Hi everyone, I want to talk about paraneoplastic syndrome. Paraneoplastic syndrome. Paraneoplastic syndromes are diverse group of disorders affecting people with cancer resulting from immunological response. I repeat, resulting from immunological response. So what we're going to talk about is as a result of immunological response, not anything else. So it's not caused by metastasis, not nutritional deficit, not metabolic deficit. Infection is not the problem here, not coagulopathy issue, and not as a result of side effects of treatment, but by immunological response. The entire nervous system is affected. The clinical features will be encephalitis affecting the entire brain, myelitis, opisoclonus, myoclonus ataxia, cerebellar degeneration, optic neuritis, still present syndrome due to decrease gamma aminobutyric acid, sensory neuropathy, Necrotizing myelopathy. These are qualified topics, you know, that requires detailed explanation. So I'm just going to mention them in part like this, and we'll be talking about each of them separately in days or months to come. It's likely going to present like Guillain Barr syndrome. So, one of the differential diagnoses of guillain barr syndrome is paraneoplastic syndrome. Autonomic neuropathy is not only in diabetic patients, so we could pick it now, it could happen as a result of paraneoplastic syndrome. Myasthenia gravis, in fact, that's a separate topic with people having muscle weakness, when a lot of other complications. Remember eating myasthenic syndrome and dermatomyositis. We'll talk about each of them separately. How do we make diagnosis here? We are going to ask you for paraneoplastic antibodies. Good to know that there are specific antibodies for that and once that is done, then we'll be able to come down on the diagnosis. We're going to do a longer puncture and assay the content of cerebrospinal fluid. Magnetic resonant imaging, PAT, look for the underlying cancer because it might be a kind of occult malignancy. And how do I mean by occult malignancy? Before the specific cancer is diagnosed, the affected individual is already presenting with paraneoplastic syndrome. How do we treat here? The first thing that will be definitive is to treat the affected cancer. Treat the cancer that is serving as a source of the antigens. Suppress the immune response because he said this is immunological response. So we can have plasma exchange, you can have intravenous immunoglobulin, methylprednisolone is welcome, but if you are not winning, then you can use rituximab, cyclophosphamide, and of course it will be wise to consult the oncologist. Thanks for listening to my presentation. Kindly subscribe so that you can have these presentations immediately they are published. So paraneoplasty syndrome, surprise the immunological process going on. Refer to oncologists, look for the cancer, treat appropriately with the advice from the oncologist. Thank you.